Welcome back to BLCVikings.com, and we are on the beat, the Bethany Sports Beat, and it's time to talk about the winter athletic season here at Bethany, which means it's basketball season. We're going here with this installment, talking about women's basketball. And with us is first-year head coach back after many years, Lyle Jones, uh, absent for about uh, 10 years here on the campus as far as coaching, but back in the job, his team's going to work behind us, getting ready for their season opener this Saturday against Salem. And certainly, if you look at your non-conference schedule, Coach, you guys are going to be tested often. We definitely are going to be tested. We've got some really stiff competition waiting for us. We, we have gotten some scrimmages in that's really helped us out as far as getting ready for uh, St. Olaf, which is coming up this Saturday. But we're really going to be tested. You guys end the non-conference season. You get to go down to the Wisconsin Dells, and you end up going to Iowa for a single game as well before you get into the UMAC schedule. UMAC has you picked fifth right now. I would imagine, knowing you like to the extent I do, if you look at the conference, obviously Northwestern comes back after right. an NCAA run last year in the conference, regular season champion, Minnesota Morris. You don't mind being kind of in the, the middle of the pack and maybe the chance to sneak up on a few people once you get into conference play. That's true. I'd rather have a target on my back, but uh, being the first year, uh, yeah, we can sneak up on some people, I hope, and uh, we're practicing every day, getting a little better every day. So uh, I think teams will uh, be surprised about how we do. Let's talk about your team a little bit. Obviously, a lot of scoring gone with a couple of players that have graduated and moved on after that. So you bring back a team pretty young and, and inexperienced by all uh, accounts, a team with just one senior, really one, and, and there's a, a second junior, so only a couple of uh, you know, upperclassmen on the team. How does that youth, especially with a tough non-conference schedule, how do you as a coach try to combat that so the girls just, you know, Wins are going to be kind of tough to come by early in the season. How do you get over that? Well, you know, we do have a lot of inexperience, whether they're returning or whether they're freshmen that are coming in. Um, in practice, we're really working on just trying to execute things as the best we can, being really efficient in what we're doing, uh, communicating with the team members themselves on who are our top scorers, who we really need to get the ball to more than other players. So we're really working on efficiency, and we're still going to have those freshman mistakes. That's, of course. But uh, I think as we progress through the season, through our non-conference uh, games, I think we'll be ready. In the past, people who've watched you coach Bethany teams years ago know that you were very much an up-tempo kind of coach. You like to, to get involved as far as sure. pressure defense all over the floor. You like to get the ball down the floor. Where do things stand right now in terms of that style of coaching and obviously with the players that you have coming back? How, how is that gelling? That, that's the style that we're going to develop into. And it's probably going to be a little later in the year. You know, and you, like you said, usually before, that's what we're starting off with. That was our marquee as far as our defense goes. We will have high pressure defense in the half court. We will do some trapping in the half court. Uh, the full court stuff is going to be a little later in the season. Who do you expect is going to end up leading your team as far as the scoring, whether it's going to be coming from the perimeter or inside, but who, do you, who are you going to have to count on that's going to have to produce offensively? Well, you always look at your, your returners, and uh, with Lacey, uh, Ellen Hughes, and she's going to be one of the ones that Staples that we'll look to. But as far as the freshmen go, uh, there's, there's a number of kids that can step up in there, and uh, so we're looking at any of those freshmen right now. How are you doing with this whole transition, getting back into the coaching? Obviously for you it didn't take very long. We talked to you uh, when you first got the job about the recruiting aspect, but now you're in the gym and coaches love to be in the gym. You sure. love this whole process. How has that gone? The, the best part is stepping inside the gym doors and then and practicing and, and teaching all the skills that need to be done and evaluating the players and just getting things put in place so that they can be successful or giving them a chance so they can be successful. And, it's just a fun time. This is going to be one of those years where you know success is not necessarily going to be deemed always based on the one loss record. As you look at the team and the progression you hope to, to undertake this year, what are you kind of establishing as some of those goals? Well, we're establishing as far as the goals go right away, we definitely want to win. And we will have some secondary goals along the way as if we're playing some really tough teams and when we're really outmatched, of course we're going to have some secondary goals to go to. But we're, we're really pushing to, to see what we can do in the conference. And when we talk with the girls, they're looking at, hey, we want to win this thing. Whether we can or not is another story, but we're shooting to be number one. All right. That is Lyle Jones and again Don Westfall here on the Bethany Sports Beat on BLCVikings.com.